I'm Brandon Pinard for Video Maker Presents. In this week's tips and tricks, I'll be showing you how to make a photo montage that's animated using Adobe's Premiere Pro software. The photo montage can be a great addition to a film. It can be effectively used at the beginning of a film to draw your audience in, or at the end to let them slowly fade away. Let's begin by first dragging our photos into the timeline. Next, I'm going to add cross-dissolve transitions to both the beginning and ends of each of my clips. Now let's apply a panning motion to our first photo in our sequence. After I have selected my first photo by double-clicking on it in the timeline, I will open up the Effect Controls folder, and clicking the drop-down arrow in the motion palette, I will select the toggle animation icon next to Position, and a keyframe marker will appear. Next. I will drag my cursor to the end of the clip where I want my pan to stop. Then I will select the toggle animation icon next to the anchor point and click on the add keyframe icon. Then I will again select motion and scroll over to the sequence viewer window where my photo is displayed. By clicking and holding down the mouse over the crosshairs in the middle of the viewer, I can manually control the path which my panning motion will follow. I complete this action by selecting Sequence, Render Work Area. Now let's apply a zoom type motion to our second photograph using the scale effect. I'll start by selecting my clip and opening the Effect Controls window. I select the drop down arrow next to motion, I then do the same to scale, and then I select toggle animation, the icon next to scale, and a keyframe marker will appear in my clip sequence. I drag my cursor to the point in the sequence where I want my scale to end, and add another keyframe by clicking the add slash remove keyframe button in the scale window. A black line appears that represents the scale that I will be performing. I click on the line under my anchor point at the end of my clip. This will result in my image slowly becoming smaller and making it appear to zoom out for my scaling effect. Conversely, if I move the anchor point on the line at the beginning, it will appear to zoom in. Then I move my cursor to the beginning of the clip and watch my effect before I render it. For my third photograph today, I'm going to apply a scale and a pan effect that I just demonstrated. I will first apply my scale effect to my clip. Then I will apply my pan motion and play with it until I get it to pan and scale at once. It's going to finish by just scaling out. I also apply a dip to black transition at the end of my clip or sequence. I render my project, save it, and then watch. The result is a nice montage of photos that maintains a strong visual interest by moving through the frame and looking somewhat video-esque. Using cross dissolves creates a nice soft transition between photos. Creating a photo montage is a great technique to use in making video. In this case, I used it to include elements in my video that were only captured on a still camera. A good photo montage in itself can have a powerful impact on your audience, and used in the right way can highlight specific areas that you would like your audience to focus their attention on. That just about wraps it up for this week's lesson on creating an animated photo montage. I hope that you've been able to follow along throughout this, and that you're inspired to go create one of your own photo montages to use in your own videos. For Video Maker Presents, I'm Brandon Pinard, and that's Tips and Tricks. We'd like to thank our sponsors, Canon for the cameras, Mackie for our audio board, TDK for our blank media, Samson for our mics and cables, Sony for the HD TV and focus enhancements for the Firestore direct capture devices we're using for our show.